hello everyone and welcome to the setup and installation of the Digisol DGWR3001N which is a 300 Mbps wireless repeater from Digisol's Ranger series and uh, as we mentioned in our previous videos uh, this uh, router is a, has a tri mode operation with the Wi-Fi repeater mode an access point mode and an, and a client mode so basically this is a compact and wall pluggable uh, repeater and it extends your Wi-Fi coverage with the help of some other features as well so let's go ahead and set this up so first to start with it uh, you need to pop in your CD that comes with the Digisol DGWR3001N and start the AP wizard so press yes when it asks for administration privileges so as you can see your window opens up so in this video uh, you we, we will guide you to uh, uh, set up this repeater and you can see on the screen how to do it so after reading this press next now you need to make sure that you connect the Digisol DGWR3001N to the wall socket after you do that press next and since this is the first time we are installing the device so you need to put in the default password that is 1234 but make sure that you change it after setting the router or repeater up press login so we have currently connected this router or the repeater to our desktop and uh, via LAN cable and we are connecting it using that so let's see yeah so in this uh, you will need to select the current Wi-Fi network to which your repeater will work through so for example if you don't know the Wi-Fi credentials very well or the name of the SSID so you need to click site survey the repeater will search the network and find out the available networks just need to connect uh, select a network and connect okay so as you put that in the SSID or the root AP SSID change changes and the main SSID is Digisol you can change this too if you want for the repeater mode only and you can change the channels from this mode as well so after doing that press next you can uh, select the encryption or uh, encryption or here and disable it or enable it from here but for now we are disabling it but if you are wanting to enable it you need to you know select a type of encryption mode like WPA2 PSK and enter a security key so let's do it in that sense right now so we are currently setting this up as Digisol next okay so let's try it to do it with the normal mode okay so this is the summary of the current network and it gives you the option to restart the router or the repeater and we we'll need to do that now so as you click this button the repeater will restart and the pop-up will show up uh, telling you the system restarting and with the countdown so we'll need to wait for that time so as the countdown gets over you need to pl uh, click on ok so your configuration complete and the repeater is fully configured to your network right now uh, for more advanced function you need to go to the administrator window by using the IP address in your browser and change the credential for the repeater and the router or the repeater will restart again within this countdown finishing over once the countdown is done press ok and finish and you're done so stay tuned thanks for watching